actions. You got this one. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Nice block by bad intention. Guard up. Keep that guard up. That's a big, big shot he just scored with. And why did he score? Because he created range, created distance, created a hole, and he filled that hole. A little head hunting with the right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. How does that happen? How is throwing a hook? Wow! He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young fellas out. It is raining punches here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Well, that may have been just a flash knockdown there, Teddy. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear headed. His legs are okay. Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands why he got caught. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. That right hand over the top lands flush. Blocks away that head shot. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Bad attention is on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Solid straight right hand. The knockdown there in that round, a little bit of a momentum gainer. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I also, so I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. Very nice defensive guard there. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Bad Intentions is trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who is knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that sponge. Some cold water on top of the head where you revigorate him a little bit. You know, get his senses back a little bit. And you have to talk to him. Once he calms down, once you physically get him back on track, you look to see if he's okay, and then you have to tell him why he got dropped to begin with. Combo lands upstairs. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Comeback Kid. Right to the belt line. Bad Intentions, his right hand, did a nice job that time. That works well for him. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Kid Comeback's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good exchange, he fires back. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Bad intentions is on the wrong end of a razor sharp hook. Comeback Kids corner has to feel good about what they just saw. I looked at the punch stats, and you can see that he was able to land more punches than his opponent. And Teddy, I mean, there are a lot of facets as to how you score a round. Oh, that's got to hurt. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down?
give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to express and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Bad intentions is he's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Good shot to the head with that right hand. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by bad intentions. Good job. Good job. Super two-punch combo by the comeback kid. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by comeback kid. And now he's targeting upstairs. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Hit comebacks, landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Interesting first three rounds we've seen so far. Bad Intentions is willing to engage in the fight. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Well, he just solid. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Bad intentions is not looking so solid on his feet, and he's clinching. That's a smart veteran move. Give yourself a break. Yeah, to be a top fighter, to be a champion someday, you have to sometimes put your pride over on the side. He's doing that right now. It's not about pride right now. It's about being smart and surviving. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Comeback Kid. See any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. a strong uppercut there he is not in good shape he could be on the deck in moments look at this swarming attack oh knocked down again unreal now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking are they gonna stop this Kids bombs away, worked again. Knockout victory for him. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, the Kids. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he would.